For decades, educational researchers have been asking this question. How do you increase parent involvement in schools? This is the wrong question. With this question, educators and policymakers are curators of parent involvement, resulting in practices that tend to be school-centric and putting parents in service to the educational enterprise. The universal lament among educators is that they see the same parents all the time, despite their efforts to broaden participation. Parents are commonly emphasized as partners in education, and we take inspiration from, inspiration from adages such as, it takes a whole village to raise a child. But the rhetoric has failed to translate into robust engagement of parents. I want to redirect and ask this. What makes parents feel in children's schools? This is an existentially different question, for it shifts our focus away from scrutinizing individual parents by their presence or absence to think about connection and contribution, about parents and teachers working in concert in multiple ways. It aims to challenge the assumption that parents' physical presence at school-sponsored events is the metric for parent involvement or that learning outcomes are the only end to which parent involvement is a means. The problem is, within education, the word community is used and overused to the point that it holds little concrete meaning. School community is a zombie category, dead and still alive. It is alive in educational discourse, but has diminishing effectiveness because the term has undergone little or cursory theoretical debate. So, if we were to ask the question that I pose, we might learn. Do parents feel they belong? Do parents feel they have influence? Are parents fulfilled by the opportunities that they are given to participate? Do we know what fulfills parents' sense of purpose? Do parents and teachers experience mutual benefit? Do parents feel an emotional connection with the school as a community? I situate my particular question at the secondary school level and within rural and northern schools. Secondary school is where, I've learned, parents feel displaced. Rural and the provincial north are romanticized and oversimplified as being close-knit, homogeneous, stable, fixed, a place where community must be and it must be simple to achieve. Significantly, they tend to be overlooked in policy and are forced to adapt to expectations assumed suitable for all. There's undeniably more effort on the part of educators and policymakers to find a place for parents on the educational landscape. But yet, the age-old question about parent involvement persists. And I worry that educators' time, the investment of resources, and policy commitments will not result in something different. We run the risk of zombie practice and zombie policy. My question of school community, I propose, holds the potential for an awakening from the assumption of the parent-teacher relationship as one of servitude to the idea of synergy. Ultimately, I'm challenging and interrogating this notion of best practice and suggesting it's about best questions. How do we reconceptualize school community? I want to bring life to this discussion about parents through the power of this question.